Hi, today we're going to be looking at the alto saxophone note D. If you look at the musical staff, you see that so far we have learned B and C. B was the middle line, goes straight through the line, the note goes straight through the line. C is our space note right above it, and D is the next line note. So don't get B and D confused. They look a lot alike, but the D is on the second to the last line from the top. When we see that D, we're going to be changing our fingers around quite a bit. In fact, before on our B, we just had the first finger down. On the C, we had just the second finger down in our left hand, but on the D, we get to actually press down most all of our fingers. So we're gonna be starting with pressing down the back thumb key, which is right above the, the black disc. And then we're also gonna be pressing down one, two, three in the left hand, and one, two, three in the right hand. No pinkies for this note. And this back key is called the octave key. So most of our high notes are gonna be needing us to press down on that back octave key. So our D note is played. Sometimes people get a little, uh, have a little hard time getting that note to come out because it's a little bit higher and we have to include that octave key, give it a little bit more breath, Make sure that you keep your embouchure like a smile. Don't ever puff out your cheeks or puff out your lips. Keep your embouchure tight. So I'm gonna be looking at our Accent on Achievement book, line five, that includes all three of our notes that we've had before. The note B, the note C, and the note D. So let's go ahead and play line five. Keep practicing on B, C, and D on your saxophone. Have a great time. See you next time.